Right, okay, there's quick opportunity to chat then. I am literally boarding the ferry right now. The passenger, my wife, has to get out and go through a separate entrance. So we're about to set sail two and a half hours onto a romantic island to play golf. A few weeks ago, my wife and I spent a few weeks on the island of Madeira, and I suggested we take a short ferry to stay at a place the Madeirans call the Golden Island. My wife was delighted, but there was something I hadn't told her. I'm not quite sure how she's gonna take it. You see, in addition to miles of gold and sandy beaches, the island of Porto Santo is home to a Seve Design golf course, and I couldn't come all that way and not pay a visit. Yeah. It'd be nice to go and explore the island, though, wouldn't it? Just uh, see a bit, you know, another side of it. Oh, Fortunately, my charm, wit and good looks meant I persuaded my wife that this was a good idea. It would no doubt cost me later in the holiday, but for now, we were both happy. Well, I was at least. the course for some time and whilst I enjoyed the front nine I knew that something spectacular was waiting. I have limited camera equipment so it's not a cinematic masterpiece but we did our best and filmed a three hole challenge. Right, so this is it. We'll kick off man versus golf hole challenge on the 11th, following probably the worst hole I've just played, the 10th, where I put two in the water. But anyway, let's wipe them clear from the mind. We've got 283 meters, so just over 300 yards. I'm going with five, but I'm gonna go at the bunker. If it goes in the bunker, I'll live with it because I don't wanna pull anything down the left. Um, yeah, and basically kill the ball. So, be positive and and a decent swing. Okay, well, it's a decent swing. Sit down. Oh no, it's position A. Best shot of it so far. I'm glad we put the camera on, switched the mind on a little bit. It's a real good five, would pulled it maybe a little bit left than uh, I first suggested, but I think we're in good nick. The one thing to mention, I'm getting those shots. I think it's stroke index 14, but what a backdrop that is. Do you know what? I think it's worth mentioning there, those of you who are interested always in the product reviews, that was the Mizuno STG5 with that low spin thing. And I know we were elevated, but that's a long way with a five wood. Anyway, 
I'm in good nick, so we've got, I don't know any yardage, I've not got my rangefinder with me, I'm just going to play a 52, I think we've only got about 50 yards in, maybe less than that, wind in two, so it's not a full 52 obviously, I've just got to make sure I clear the water. Pin high? Yeah, just leaked a tad. Um, out to that right hand side but pin eye which is the all important bit am i still on camera trace or are you on the ball yeah. all out all out oh Well, the, um, the first port, you can tell by the knee bend, I genuinely thought I had that, which would have been a birdie and a win. Um, and just a quick recap, man versus golf is me and my handicap versus the, uh, the scorecard and uh, the stroke indexes. That was 14, I part it, so it's a half. Next up on the challenge, well, we're looking at the water because that's got to be one of the best backdrops I have seen on a tee box. This is the 13th and... Uh, we're going over the cliff. I'm going to play from what is the back tees, not by choice personally, but the idea it's just the most dramatic backdrop. And I'm just a little bit worried. We're right into the sun. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to pick this up too good, but what a golf hole. Typical Seve in its design. We've got 170 into that flag and a big howling wind off the left. One to take me over into the water. Come on, and I don't know the stroke index, so I don't really care either. Solid shot. I'll turn more now and kick a bit. Oh, you can pick that up in the light. Kick off the bank. I can't quite see where that's come down, but it was a lovely shot onto the left-hand side, maybe a touch too far on the left, and a little bit cautious, but I'm dry. And what a golf hole. I'm really disappointed not to make the par miss the putt because of a bit of Spanish hands thrown in there. Really nice little chip shot. Thought I'd hold it and then miss the putt for par. But anyway, we're going to finish off. Third and final hole is behind me right now and it's an absolute, well, it's ridiculous. We'll get to that very shortly. But here's a few images I collected from around Porto Santo Golf Club today. And don't forget, as always, it's either Tracy or Andy for the photo of the week in the comments section below. And the 14th is another typical Seve hole, that typical risk and reward par four. To the green, across the cliff top is a 300 yard drive. Not for me, but would, uh, well, a lot of people could consider taking that on. We're gonna go air on the side of caution and be playing down this left hand side. Don't forget, wind is off the left and taking us towards the hole. So we've gotta be cautious with this one. I've gotta win it and draw level. I don't wanna lose it, but a great, super golf hole again and uh, on a piece of land that really almost the golf course belongs here right at the uh, sort of wooden rooftop that I can see halfway out or something in the distance and don't fade it too much and okay hopefully you're picking up on the light it's coming in now I think we're good god blimey we're really just good I'm actually in the middle of the fairway, but I thought I was going to carry a long, long way and uh, we've only just made the clearance and I hit that pretty decent as well. 
So like I said, we only just got there. There was a bit of the cliff top starts just about 15 yards to my right. Green is perched on that elevated position. You can see that wind blowing that flag over to the right hand side. I think that's 100 meters. So we're gonna play it around a sort of 120 wedge in. Hopefully that's enough to get it there. Oh my word, what a golf hole. I'm sorry about the light, by the way. These are the best holes on the course, without doubt, in my opinion. And unfortunately, the sun's in the wrong position. And unfortunately, we have, uh, we have no control over that. Right, come on. Good shot, get the yardage right. Well, it's a good shot, is the yardage right? Go a bit more, I think. And again, oh no, it's come up short. Too tentative, and the game just not being secure with my yardage. It was right on the flag, but that's going to leave another Spanish hands needing to get that one up and down. again ah quite annoying again because uh, both of the chips on uh, 13 and 14 weren't too bad no doubt Sevy would have done a little bit better but the putter let me down and uh, well there you go as it happens I was on a shot on both those holes so they would have been a net par so overall the Porto Santo man versus golf was a half. Anyway, that's me done. Um, we're gonna hopefully finish off and play the, uh, the holes into the clubhouse, which was amazing. Uh, we ate at lunchtime, one of the best risottos I have ever had. It was so, so nice. And I gotta say thank you to my wife behind the camera, not only considerate enough to let me play golf, but then is behind the camera, pressing record and allowing me to film a video to put on the channel. So there you go, life couldn't be any better. Right, that's me done. I will see you all soon.